It's raining. Still going, boys. Still going. Alright, so my past few videos have been dedicated to vlogging, mostly because I've been interested in doing more vlogging, and so I figured I've done some vlogs, I've covered the gear that you could use to make vlogs, so I figured, like, what if I did a video on the basics of vlogging in five minutes? <laughs> So the thing about vlogging is you don't really have to know how to do it, you just kind of do it. That's what's nice about vlogging is that there's not a whole lot of stuff that you have to do and there's not like checklists and lists that you have to make sure that you're you know, checking off every time you make a vlog. But there are some things that you might want to do to make your vlog more interesting or to just be more of a, you know, higher quality vlog, I guess you could say. So these few tips in and the basics, I guess you could say, might help you with making a better vlog. All right, so one of the most important things in just vlogging and just videos in general is keeping a quick pace. Because if you're just sitting there for like 10 minutes talking, not many people are gonna watch. Unless you're a big YouTuber that people actually really like, you gotta have their retention and you gotta just like be able to keep them on their toes, you know? So my previous vlogs, I was just talking for quite a bit, mostly because I didn't have a whole lot to do <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to talk about something in general. So if you do genuinely want to talk about something for a while, that's fine. But if you do want a video to be more entertaining, then keep a quicker pace, maybe move the camera around, switch angles a little bit, that kind of stuff. Here is the tip two that kind of goes with that tip. So when you're keeping your footage nice and choppy and you know, you're cutting between different scenes and stuff, you wanna still make sure that your footage is not shaky. If it's shaky, people will just click off instantly and they just, it's just, it's not a good experience. So if you do need to set your camera down, I would recommend getting some sort of tripod or even just like a stack of books and then set it on a table or something. Having your shot look still and stable is really, really important when it comes to vlogging because sure, a lot of your vlogs will be like this, but even if they're like that, you should be like walking slowly and just kind of keeping a nice smooth pace. And if your camera doesn't have stabilization, the best way to get super smooth footage is just using your phone. A phone honestly has some of the best image stabilization you can get while still getting a good image. The new iPhone 13 just released, but you could get the iPhone 12, 11, 10, and they all look super good and they're really, really smooth. So if you already have one of those phones, go ahead and just use it and you're gonna get super stable footage that's still gonna look really good. If you're using an actual camera, you do wanna make sure that your lens has some stabilization or that you're just holding it really still. So I like to add a tripod and have a stabilized lens and it tends to help a little bit. And then the, my camera also has electronic image stabilization. So that will help as well. But basically just anything that's more stable than this should be good. Something that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to videos and especially vlogging is good audio. And I feel like people just overlook audio and they're just like, eh, the camera's mic is good enough. But if you have a room that's like all hardwood floors and there's like nothing in the room and it's super echoey, it's not gonna be great and people are just gonna click off and not enjoy actual the actual video that you have. So make sure you're using good audio, whether that's using a better mic or using you know a carpet put, putting down a rug or even shooting outside because outside is you know typically better sound quality i recommend picking up a more directional microphone than your onboard microphone something like the road video micro or something will do great at that and it's only about 60 bucks something else that people don't seem to talk about as much is actually just music i use uh, upbeat.io and it's a free place that you can get copyright free music that sounds great and it's super like chill and lo-fi kind of stuff and now if you upgrade to their premium for 6.99 a month you can get sound effects and unlimited downloads each month but if you do just want to get the free version you can get 10 free downloads a month this isn't sponsored by upbeat but i genuinely really like their music and almost all my videos 
like since my video about Upbeat, <laughs> I've used Upbeat. So link in description to Upbeat if you want to go check out their music because it really adds to the whole like It really adds to how good your vlog is and really just the like quality. Something about like good music can really help your vlog. So make sure you're using good music to back up your good videos. All right, and then pretty much the final part of any video is editing and editing is really where the vlog will come together and where all the, you know, fancy transitions and the music and the beat and the, you know, B-roll will all come together and make the vlog. For editing, I really just recommend, again, like using upbeat music and just keeping a fast, quick pace. So if you know David Dobrik, he uh, used to do Vine and Vine was only like seven seconds or 6.83 or something, I don't know. In his vlogs, he used to cut the scene every seven seconds. And I feel like that's kind of cool because it kind of stuck with the whole like Vine kind of theme. And so that's kind of cool. So if you want to cut in between scenes every few seconds, that would be a good idea because people's attention span are like super low, especially when it comes to vlogs. Like my videos, the attention span is a lot less when it comes to vlogs because, you know, it's not as interesting. There's not like a whole lot that's going on. So I do recommend, you know, making quick cuts and punching in and then zooming back out and then like that kind of stuff, either while you're filming or in post-production. And for editing, you could use iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, um, Final Cut Pro, you know, all those different ones. They'll all be good. If you do want free, I recommend just going DaVinci Resolve or iMovie because honestly, I've made a lot of, uh, like I'm saying like a lot of videos in iMovie and it's not bad. You know, you can easily do decent vlogs in iMovie. Um, I just wouldn't recommend using the filters in iMovie for color grading and stuff like that. So if you're doing color grading and you want to do more fancy stuff, I guess you could say, I recommend just hopping over to DaVinci Resolve and it's free and it's actually pretty nice. That's pretty much it. I think that was five minutes. It might not have been. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of these types of videos, like these vlogging videos. Do you want to see more of them? But anyways, guys, that's it. So make sure to leave a like on today's video and comment down below if you want to see more vlogs and videos like this. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.